guys I am finally doing a tutorial on a style that I think is probably the most popular style that I've ever posted so I wore this style last night my curls were tighter um, and as I've mentioned before I can never leave styles in overnight so I took it down so I figured since my hair was still curly I would show you how to do it um, in order to do this style you need bobby pins I have large ones and I think I have some small ones in here and hairpins. The most important um, to hold the style in place are the bobby pins, the large bobby pins by far. I need large ones. Um, you could, I guess both sizes would be helpful. So in any case, I've done a few variations. I'm also gonna have my mirror and I have a mirror set up right next to the camera to help me see. There are many variations of how I do the back. I think the most important thing for you to know is how I get the front in place. One variation would be to simply like do a French roll. I've done it like this before. Well, I'm going to do it. Kind of roll it to the top. And I'm leaving out just some of the locks over here just so I can play with those in the shape of the style later. The one right by my temple isn't necessary to have out. So I can do this. And then Simply take a couple of locks and tie it in place and then I will deal with the front. That's one version. I want to shout out a video that I looked at with um, Peace Styles on Instagram. He did this fresh braid in a YouTube video and mentioned that the key is to pull in one lock at a time and it takes a long time to do it that way but it's the way you get the most pristine look. And I feel like I've never gotten this to look as good as I want to because I'm always doing it in the back of my head. So I'm gonna simply, you're just crisscrossing. So now what I've noticed that makes it look really neat is when I crisscross, hold it, just bring it to the other side, but make an attempt to bring it underneath the lock that you have on the other side. So I'm kind of crisscrossing it underneath. And I'm going to have to keep checking in my mirror to make sure that I'm not leaving anything out. I don't want to move up too quickly. It looks weird when you have to do stuff like this, so you want to get all the locks like on the bottom row in the braid first. crisscrossing but tucking it underneath the other side and I think if I was looking at myself doing this I feel like I could probably do it better but I haven't had a reason to put a fish braid in the front of my hair
enough. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the other style. And I'm going to choose two locks. And simply tie a knot. Because that can slip, I'm just going to put a hairpin to hold it in place. On both sides. And now, now it's time to work on the front. And I'll show you how I do this. So now this is where you have some options. Um, as you can see here, um, I've done a variation where I do this and then I tuck up curls and do it to the side. The, the one that everyone seems to like is when I have the pompadour in the front, so I'm going to show you that. But the technique is the same for both styles. So. My goal, since I need to get all of my hair center, is to figure out how I'm going to get these locks um, to hold my hair up this way. And there's a few ways I can do it. I mean, if I want to be lazy, I can take two rows and twist them to get, not lazy, but that's one way to do it. Or I can do them individually. I could simply just put hairpins here. It really doesn't matter. It's not really seen that much. So how you do it doesn't really matter. I am just going to like flat twist it. I'm just doing a two strand twist, but I add a lock every once in a while. And for this portion of the hairstyle, I'm going to use hairpins. So I always, I've said this if you've seen some of my previous videos, that you have to find what's called like the security lock. This lock, when I hold it in place, sorry, it's on, it's on the top, but now I've lost it. You find the lock that when you hold it in place will then hold all of the rest of the locks there. So that one lock is the one that I'm aiming to put the hairpin in. The closer I get to the center of my head, um, the less I'm going to twist because it really doesn't need to go back that far because of course my hair is all going to be covering this. And so. Right now, I'm feeling like I just want to bring these two together just to give, um, have a little bit more thickness to put their hair fin through. Putting that hair fin on one lock felt silly. So I'm twisting, adding a lock. I don't know if I need to twist back that far. Probably just going to do these two. And now this side. So now we're at the fun part. Any style that you want to do that involves actually shaping curls, you need to use bobby pins, not hair pins. So I have two different sizes here. And they're 
bobby pins, if you try to do something with this, you stick a bobby pin and it's gonna fall out. I'm sorry, hair pins are the ones that are just like this. They just go in and out. That's how I clip the sides up here. But bobby pins clip so they hold your hair in place. This is the trickiest part. And it's, you know, unlike some other styles I do, like it, it's different every time. So basically, I just folded my hair. Sometimes I do stuff like this and I crisscross. It, it depends on the curls and how they're acting that day. Today I'm feeling like one swoop is going to make it happen. So basically, I'm just shaping the style to be what I want. And then I'm going to find places to secure it with these bobby pins. So notice I'm like holding in one spot and basically holding this shape in place. So that is probably a good place to start with like now one finger. I'm holding it all. That's a good place to start putting a hairpin in. Just putting it in the place where my finger was holding. And that just gets it started. And then from there, I have to keep pinning. So these are falling in the back. I want to make sure. I could have prevented that by perhaps doing the fish braid a little bit higher. In the back. And that would have prevented having so much loose hair back there. And so now I don't like the fact that these locks are stretching so much to one side. They're held by hairpins, so let me pull that one up. And again, this is the tedious part, but when people ask, how do you style your hair? It's, I mean, part of it is technique, but I would say a large portion of it is patience. And I know that that's uh, something that a lot of people don't have. And the reason why you give up is not because of your talent necessarily, but because of your patience. I worked with really young children the majority of my career, so I'm kind of naturally patient and I'm a perfectionist. So it's always worth the wait for me. that I found with this style when I looked at pictures when it was wider I didn't like the way it looked I needed it to be pretty narrow in the front of my head and so the next thing is to see like where is it insecure there you go and I will say that for me this is a very delicate style this is not something that I wear if I'm planning to be really really active because I don't really put, I mean, I have a good amount of hairpins in here, but not so many that it could withstand like a workout. This is not a style that you do and then just like, how do you get this style to stay in your hair when I'm doing boot camp five days a week? You don't. It, it's it's kind of not the purpose. I had an event to go to last night. I did this style. I got home and I took it down. So this is basically it. I think it looks a little di bit different from the other picture I posted, but this is the general thing. I'll spin around. Let 
Let's see. Can you see that? looks pretty cool and I think I do what the way I had it last night I think I had this going like maybe all the way up this high but you know I just play with it it's a little different every time so if you have any questions again the best way to reach me is on Instagram and Facebook Instagram I'm at joy Marily, and um, on Facebook I'm at joy's journeys um, if you have any questions, hit me up there. I am happy to finally show this to you. And I hope that you take it as inspiration. It is very hard to replicate styles exactly, but take the techniques and create your own thing. Okay, and tag me in some pics. I love to see when you guys use my um, videos and my pictures as inspiration. All right, see you next time. It's my journey.